Loading your truck seems like a nice gesture, but not if they're reloading it into their own vehicle. 10 on your side's Tamara Scott is here now with the video that the victim is hoping will lead to who is responsible. Tamara? Yeah, that's right, Stephanie. Well, in this video you're about to see, you can clearly see a man targeting a company. Police have the video, and it already has thousands of views on social media. Now the owner of the company is hoping you've seen this truck and can help make this wrong right. My first reaction was just like, man, that was quick, you know? Like how fast something can change. Brian Newman says he went into work yesterday unaware that he would be leaving with less lawn equipment than he had started the day with. And one of my uh, employees approached me and said, um, we had three blowers in the truck and there's only one left. Immediately, Brian had suspicions. Uh, that's when I contacted the office and we checked surveillance footage and uh, sure enough, somebody had driven by and taken the equipment out of the bed of the truck. Caught on camera. Clearly, you see a man removing three pieces of equipment, then driving off. I was kind of shocked, um, you know, because you believe that everybody in society is good and that uh, somebody wouldn't come and take equipment that's uh, needed to, you know, for, uh, provide food for your family. And it's not cheap. Roughly like $1,700 for all three pieces. Thankfully, Brian has insurance, but he says it's the principal. I guess the guy might have needed it more than I did. Um, but at the same time, it kind of frustrates me that he would uh, take my equipment and, uh, you know, cause me heartache um, within the company to keep it successfully running. He has already contacted police and given them the video, but he has some suggestions for the thief. He's more than willing to set it in front of the building um, and we can pick it up. But, you know, I, at the end of the day, I think he just needs to work harder for his own stuff and not steal from individuals who are working hard for what they have. But if nothing else, he wants his community to keep an eye out so this doesn't happen to them. Now Brian says they are changing the way they do things by chaining their equipment up and locking it down when it's left unattended. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.